Hi, I'm Hugh Thompson, owner and shaper of Natural Curve Surfboards here in Jeffreys Bay. And um, I shape surfboards for a living and in my spare time I surf. Yeah, I got into shaping when I was very young. Um, basically knew what I wanted in, in a surfboard and uh, I was pretty good with my hands so decided to give it a shot and uh, my first board actually came out pretty good so um, that was you know the seeds were sown there and uh, slowly got into it started hanging around with the better shapers at the time uh, Spider Murphy, Peter Daniels and uh, got into um, using my hands and eventually left my daytime job and uh, took up shaping permanently. When I shape a board, um, I try and make a board that uh, is not hard work to surf. A lot, of, a lot of surfboards are hard work to surf. And to me, if, um, if the whole design is correct, it should be easier, it should be a pleasure to surf them. In my shaping bay, I'm pretty neat. I must say, uh, neat and tidy, I just find it easier to be able to find tools when I need them. So everything has got its place. What that does for me is um, frees me up to concentrate on the job at hand. So when I'm shaping and I'm totally focused on what I'm doing, my focus is not broken by searching for stuff. I've got it at, at my fingertips basically and uh, it just helps me get through the process a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, I've always believed that um, in shaping and most things that you do, before you start the project, you should have uh, the end result in mind. You know, if you know what you're striving for, you will get there and uh, and achieve what you what you're after. And in shaping, it's exactly the same thing. So if you've got an idea in your head, you've got to have the end result idea fixed already, so that you can work towards that. It just makes life a lot easier. Find that. Uh, I generally get what I want at the end of, of, of the project and if it's a shape, you've already got that in mind. In my shaping, I shape anything from, from knee boards to, to big tankers, you know, and uh, I believe that everybody should surf all kinds of surfboards. It makes you a more complete surfer, it makes you understand surfing and rail lines and stuff more. But um, I'm fascinated with the, uh, with the twin and, and, and the dual fin surfboards. All of my boards are twinnies or duals, and um, I just like the like the freedom it gives you with that. The center fin drag, I find they they're faster, smoother, and um, obviously they draw different lines. You know, we're not I'm not young and sort of uh, a radical surfer in it by any means, but um, just find that I've, it's exhilarating to have the freedom. With, uh, without that drag and board, you know, I mean, everyone's striving for, for less drag and more speed. And um, down here in Jeffreys Bay, especially at Supers, when it's going, um, just gives you so much more freedom and speed on the way, it's great. Yeah, you know, for, for a youngster coming in into, into the shaping game and building surfboards, it's, 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 it's a labor of love to start off, you know, you, you're never going to make a, a million bucks, but uh, you're going to get such satisfaction and it's uh, putting your mind to it and just being prepared for hard work and uh, at the end of the day very satisfying work I must say and uh, you know if you can make a buck off it it's all the better but um, yeah it's it's uh, it's great and I would say um, you need to pour your heart into it if, if, if that's what excites you. Yeah you know um, in shaping and, uh, and and even in surfing I mean uh, I think uh, we're all our own worst enemies. You know, if you speak about challenges and uh, striving towards things, uh, we've just got to get on and do it. Have an end goal, have it in sight and go for it. There's just any challenge in life is, uh, is worth going for, you know. And it's as easy as getting out of bed and going and doing it. Jeffrey's Bay has changed a lot and I'd, I'd say uh, which is um, normal in any city in the world, I guess. And, uh, you know, more people, the, the, the town has grown. A uh, hell of a lot more people live here these days. And uh, it's got uh, renowned worldwide. And so we get more visitors here, you know. There's more people in the water, the lineups are more crowded. And um, the waves are still good. We still have fun out there. 
and um, share it with everyone. The biggest changes, I guess, over the years uh, has, has been um, surfboard design. And, uh, you know, in, in the late 60s, the board started getting shorter, more maneuverable. Um, the, uh, the products we work with have changed. They've got lighter and stronger. We're now into the, um, into the styros and epoxies and uh, all the um, eco-friendly resins and stuff. So that's really been the big changes in the boards. And, uh, which keeps everything exciting and more alive. Even going back to the old models that we used to do, the old 20s and stuff like that, and rebuilding them with, with, with new, lighter, uh, more alive products, it, makes, it just keeps everything exciting. The biggest challenge these days in, in crowded lineups and stuff is, uh, is surf etiquette. You know, we all get excited and we go to these um, exotic places and paddle out for the first time at a place and we have to remember that uh, every place has their locals. There's definitely a, a pecking order in the lineup and um, you know there's never trouble if there's manners in the water and it's so easy to to all get along and it's a, it's a, it's a matter of waiting your turn and uh, and sharing properly, caringly and um, just make surfing a hell of a more pleasant uh, experience at the end of the day. Yeah, and as a, as a shaper and, um, and surfer, and I test most of my models that, that I do, I'm still as stoked as I was the first day I went out and caught a wave. Wake up in the morning with butterflies, the first thing I do is go down to the beach to have a look at the waves, and uh, there's nothing more exciting than taking a new board out into the, into the surf and catching that first wave and finding out that it does what you, what you shaped into it and all the thoughts you had for it and, and it works, it's so stoking. And um, I just find as I get older, I get more stoked.